Linda Carson. Thousands of people got a taste of Florida's history this weekend at the 27th Annual Cortez Commercial Fishing Festival. ABC 7's Shannon Cornwell was there. Shannon? Linda, Cortez is a famous commercial fishing area. In fact, it is one of the last fishing villages on Florida's Gulf Coast. And this annual festival highlights these hardworking fishermen. And this year, the festival theme was crabs. Over 50 years ago, I used to walk with my mother and my grandmother out on these flats, and we would uh, walk up uh, and take out of their holes the stone crab. Captain Michael Haley knows about crabs. He's been crabbing these waters nearly all his life. A lot of things are taken for granted in our food chain, and, and, and uh, farmers and commercial fishermen, we work very hard. And we need all support from the public we can get. And this weekend, his profession is getting that support. The 27th Annual Cortez Commercial Fishing Festival draws in nearly 10,000 people a day. There was a lot of negative press about the commercial fishing industry. So it was an opportunity to show people the good side of the industry and make people more aware of environmental issues and, and things that affect the ability of Florida's fishermen to produce seafood. And blue crabs and stone crabs are what these fishermen, like Captain Haley, are after. The good thing about the festival, I get to show people the proper way of breaking it off. You don't twist it off, you don't pull it off. There's a certain way of snapping it off. With a hook downward snap, you can pop that claw right off without it breaking the body of the crab. The event not only educates the public, but it gives back to the environment as well. The Fish Preserve is here on the east end of Cortez. It's that whole strip of mangroves that you see in front of this boat that's moving. The nearly 100 parcel preserve is being restored into a natural habitat park, which will give refuge to all sorts of creatures, even these crustaceans, which will keep Captain Haley in business. I'm fifth generation in this area. Now the proceeds that are raised from the festival are going into the fish preserve, which consists of mangroves and wetlands. The Florida Institute for Saltwater Heritage says the preserve will protect Sarasota Bay and keep intact one of the last few undeveloped shorelines found in the bay and preserve it for generations to come.